download our Revise It Right revision app for hundreds of videos, quizzes, exam questions, tutor support and so much more. This video is about plant cell organisation. Plant cells are organised into tissues and organs which are made up of cells just like animals. Some examples of plant tissues that we need to be aware of are the epidermal tissue, the palisade mesophyll, the spongy mesophyll, the xylem and phloem, which we'll look at in the next video, and meristem tissue. All of these we'll look at in the next part when we look at the leaf, but the meristem tissue is found in the growing tips of shoots and roots and is able to differentiate. Now you'll remember differentiate means turning an unspecialized cell, so a stem cell, into a specialized cell, into lots of different types of plant cell. So lots of different types of plant cell. So the meristem tissue is a region where the cells can differentiate into lots of different types of plant cells. And as I said, the next these, these other ones we'll look at now when we look at the leaf. So the leaf is an organ. Okay, so you remember that an organ is a group of different tissues the different tissues that are working together okay so that means that the leaf is made up of tissue again we're going to look at that now so our first layer of our leaf as i'm drawing here is called the epidermal tissue the epidermal tissue okay now the epidermal tissue is really there to cover the plant so it covers the plant and it therefore adds that layer of protection to the plant okay so there is an upper epidermis and also a lower epidermis which I'll um, draw in a second when I get to the bottom that covers the full leaf of the plant and adds that layer of protection moving down from that you've got a layer called the palisade mesophyll. Okay, the, the palisade mesophyll. Okay, these are all plant cells here. Uh, so these are made up of palisade cells. So this here is the palisade mesophyll. Okay, now the palisade mesophyll is where photosynthesis happens in the leaf. So it's where photosynthesis happens in the leaf. Moving on to uh, the next layer, so the next tissue in our drawing, and we've got here the spongy mesophyll. The spongy mesophyll. Okay, now the spongy mesophyll is really where gas is diffused gases diffuse through so really carbon dioxide in and going into the palisade mesophyll for photosynthesis and then oxygen diffusing out produced from the palisade mesophyll in photosynthesis and then really at the bottom again you've got that lower epidermis here which you remember so again it's epidermal tissue it's the lower epidermis again adds that layer of protection and it covers the plant but what you'll also notice is these tiny little pores or tiny little holes in the bottom um, these are called stomata so these are called stomata and they allow gases in and out of the leaf so in and out of the leaf okay so they're tiny holes that allow for example carbon dioxide to go in and oxygen to go out and these are controlled by 
guard cells. So they're the cells that are next to the stomata and they control the opening and the closing of the stomata. So there's all the functions and as ever with biology really we also need to learn how they each of these is adapted for that function. So the upper epidermis it covers the plant and it acts uh, a layer of protection. Now it's adapted by being covered in something called a waxy cuticle. Okay, this helps to reduce water loss. Okay, so the epidermal tissue is protects the plant, it covers the plant, and it's adapted by having a waxy cuticle which reduces the water loss. Okay, now coming down to the palisade mesophyll, that's where photosynthesis happens. Now, if you remember all the way back from cells, that photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplast. So the cells in the palisade mesophyll contain lots of chloroplast for lots of photosynthesis to take place. So palisade mesophyll, the structure is uh, the function. Sorry, is where photosynthesis happens, and it's adapted by containing lots of chloroplast. Now the spongy mesophyll, as we just said, is what allows gases to diffuse through. And you'll notice with the spongy mesophyll that there's lots of air spaces in the middle of the cells. Lots of air gaps, lots of air spaces. So it's adapted by having lots of air spaces, which means that the gases can diffuse through. Through. Okay, so again, we're talking carbon dioxide coming in and going into the palisade mesophyll for photosynthesis and oxygen being produced and being able to diffuse out okay, through the stomata. So the function of the spongy mesophyll is to allow gases to diffuse through and it's adapted by containing air spaces which allow the gases to diffuse through. And then we've got the lower epidermis which contains the stomata. And as we said, the, the, st the stomata is adapted by having things called guard cells. And then these can control the opening and the closing of the stomata. So control, open or closing. Now if photosynthesis is not happening and we don't need carbon dioxide into the leaf, then we can close the stomata or the plant can close the stomata to ensure that not much water is lost. So that's really important to ensure there's not much water lost in the leaf. Remember to download our Revise It Right Revision app, watch over 700 videos, answer 4,000 plus quiz questions, over 1,000 flashcards, 1,000 exam questions, worksheets, forums, and get help from qualified teachers and so much more. The link is in the description. So quite a lot um, that we went through there. So have a go now at answering these five questions on the topic and we'll go through the answers after. So pause the video now. Okay, so question one, what is the function of the palisade mesophyll? Well, that's where photosynthesis happens in the leaf. Number two, what controls the opening and closing of the stomata? Well, that is guard cells, so hopefully you remember that. What is the meristem tissue? Remember, that's the region in the growing tips of shoots and roots, and it's where the cells are able to differentiate into other cells, into other plant cells. Why is the leaf an organ? Well, we know an organ is something that's made up of lots of different tissue, so that's why so it's, it's made up of different tissues. And finally, one adaptation of the palisade mesophyll, where they contain lots of chloroplast. Lots of chloroplast. So you've now learned how a plant is organized. You've learned lots of different types of plant cell tissue. And then you've also learned the plant cell tissues that make up the leaf. You can now test yourself using the quiz or, um, or and uh, going through the exam questions on the Revise It Right website. 
Uh, if you're really struggling with any of the topics, and as ever, if you're a paying member, you can contact one of the tutors and they will happily help you.